Tonight, we're learning more about why the Swadley's Foggy Bottom restaurants were opened before they were permitted and code compliant. All but one restaurant opened, then started the inspection and permitting process. In some cases, they finished it a year and a half later. Fox 25's Wayne Stafford has been pouring over inspections and has this story. I would say that was an exceptional length of time it has taken to get this project closed down. So those things are important, but the risk is minimal. Folium tells me the average time this should take is just one month. Taking a look at the inspection reports, a number of issues came up like sprinkler heads not in the proper location, issues with the hood suppression systems, and fire alarm pole handles not in the right place. If there is an immediate danger to life and health, the state fire marshal can order a building closed. But the assistant state fire marshal tells me these items don't fall under immediate danger. So those things are important, but... The risk is minimal. So they stayed open while still missing the certificate of occupancy. They got the uh, cart way ahead of the horse. So there was a lot of work to be done as, as far as the permitting goes. And to add to that, we were dealing with not only the restaurant owner or operator rather, but the state parks actually owns the building. The state fire marshal can also issue a daily fine, but it's only $50. Folium telling me that it's not persuasive enough. Folium says that there's some new legislation moving through the Capitol that would boost their power in this type of situation. It clarifies our jurisdiction, what buildings that they apply to. Senate Bill 1374 clarifies building codes that must be adhered to, creates a board of appeals, and increases fining capabilities to $1,000 a day. But the code in and of itself needs to be followed by everyone in the same method. You can't have everyone going by a different code. Senate Bill 1374 passed the Senate and House, but is now heading back to the Senate after some changes were made.